Hello, I want to thank some words. Uh, Obama said America is still struggling to overcome its legacies of slavery, Jim Crow, colonialism, and racism. President Obama told Comedy Central Monday night. This has got to be satire. You can't be serious. During the Daily Show, Obama was asked how he speaks two crowds about race. How does he skirt line between speaking your mind and sharing your true opinions on race whilst at the same time not being seen to alienate some of the people you're talking to? Host Trevor Noah asked. And Obama replies, you know my general theory is that if I was clear in my own mind about who I was, comfortable in my own skin and had clarity about the way in which race continues to be this powerful factor in so many elements of our lives, Obama said. But that's not the only factor in so many aspects of our lives that we have by no means overcome the legacies of slavery and Jim Crow, colonialism and racism. But the progress we made has been real and extraordinary. Uh, Mr. Obama, sir, I'm going to be intentionally silly in order to make a point. Well, I don't know if I'm being silly or not. Uh, Mr. Obama, sir, in case you don't know, we found a war, a civil war, that involved this very issue of slavery. Uh, a whole lot of people died for you, Mr. Obama. And you're sitting in the White House and you're saying we haven't overcome legacy of slavery? What the hell's wrong with you? 625,000 lives were lost in that war, Mr. Obama. Nearly as many... American soldiers has died in all of the wars in which this country has fought combined. American Civil War was the largest and most destructive conflict in the Western world between the end of the Napoleonic Wars in 1815 and the onset of World War I in 1914. 625,000, Mr. Obama. The country tore itself apart. Half of the South was destroyed. We had to rebuild cities like Richmond, Atlanta. I mean, come on. And yeah, we still have problems. Many of them have been caused by you and your race baiting and your divisive politics. This is just absurd. We can talk about Jim Crow, too. How blacks uh, used to have their own separate water fountains and such. You can find those photos on the internet. But that's been eliminated. We don't do that anymore. We realize it's wrong. Any restaurant that excludes somebody with money, they're going to lose sales. Whites don't ride at the back of the bus anymore. This is just absurd. Yeah, there were problems. I'm not arguing that there weren't problems. Obviously, there were. And there still are some problems. But don't give me this BS. I'm just going to call it. It's bullshit. Mr. Obama, don't give me this bullshit. But we haven't overcome slavery. We most definitely have overcome slavery. We overcame uh, Jim Crow. Like I said, not all racism is gone, but you can't sit there and regulate people's belief systems. You can regulate their behavior to an extent, but you can't regulate the belief systems. Somebody wants to hate somebody because of their skin color, they're going to hate them. That's not something you can legislate. 
because you can't prove it anyway. Mr. Obama, sir, I will be so glad when you are term limited out of office. I am so going to enjoy that. You disgrace this country. You stepped on us. You've embarrassed us worldwide. I will be so glad when you are term limited out of office. I am going to celebrate. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve of this message.